And you might be wondering what that term refers to. When I when I first heard it, I had to ask, and uh, turns out it's looking uh, somebody that has your back, somebody that's looking out for you that, that has your six. And uh, they used this term back in uh, World War One with the fighter pilots. They when they had each other's back, they would say, "I've got your six. And even today, they use this term in law enforcement. So some of you may have heard of that before. But what we want to talk about today is what does that mean to have somebody's back, to be able to look out for them. And we're going to tie that into uh, safety and accident prevention. How do we prevent accidents by having somebody's back for looking out at our coworkers, uh, looking out for them and helping them? That's what we're going to talk about today. Hey, Brent, so to start it off, uh, you're not who sharing is responsible your presentation? for your safety? Who is responsible for your safety? Jason, you there? Brent, you're not uh, sharing. Could you just share? Sure. Oh, let's see here. And Jonathan got it right. The quote was from Airplane. And he says, I can eat his M&Ms. That sounds like a deal. <laughs> sorry for the interruption there. Yeah, sorry about that. Can you see it now? Yep, we got it. Okay, so we're going to talk on I've Got Your Six, just like I mentioned there. Um, we're going to talk about uh, what it means to be responsible for your safety and for other people's safety that you might work with. So first of all, who is responsible for your safety? Who's, whose job is it to keep you safe and make sure that you're, you're in the right position and doing the right things? It really comes down to you. You, you are the one that has to keep yourself safe ultimately. Um, we decide on the, the actions we take, the, the tools that we use, the equipment that we use, and whether we're doing things right and following procedure. It's really up to each one of us to make sure that we are doing our, our part. And when it comes to having somebody's back and helping your organization to make things safer, if you're not doing your own part and pulling your own weight, then it's going to make it hard on others to, to be able to work safe as well. So it starts with each one of us to make sure we're committed to uh, working safe and doing what we need to. So the next question, who is responsible for safety at your organization? Okay, and really that comes down to us and everyone. It really comes down to everybody's job uh, to be able to do that, to make it safe, to make it a nice place to work and, and avoid accident and injury. And it really does take everyone. Um, each one of us is part of the puzzle. We all we all contribute to that. We all can help each other to look around and improve things and, and make the workplace safer and avoid accident. But it takes each one of us to be a part of that team to work together and make it happen. And you might have heard the term before, teamwork is everything. Um, it, that really is, is how it works, especially with safety. Um, if we have one person that's not doing the right things and they're putting others at risk or they're uh, possibly falling down on the job and they're not contributing or looking out to, to correct hazards or make things better, it can, can hurt everybody. And so we want to make sure that we really are working as a team, whether that's with your coworkers or your department or people that you work around on a regular basis. Make sure that you're helping each other out and working as a team to have each other's back and look out for each other to keep each other safe. Um, so the question, who's got your back? Who, who has your back? Who's going to help you to stay safe in your organization? Uh, again, it starts with you. Hopefully you've got yourself covered. You can do, do your part and, and look out for things and, and help yourself and you can help your coworkers to do that. Um, but it might be others you work around. It might be a supervisor that's looking out for you, uh, your organization, your management, uh, and any employees or friends that you work around. Uh, we need to make sure that each other is looking out and, and has each other's back to make it safe, um, to correct things and avoid injury. That's really what it's about. So what do we want to watch for? What kind of things do we want to look for on a regular basis? How do we have each other's back? Uh, one of the things you might want to look for are lifting injuries. We see a lot of people injuring their backs just from simple lifting objects and moving things around. That's something that you could always watch for. If somebody goes to pick something up, just, just go over and help them. Help them get the right materials or tools or things that they need to avoid um, accident and injury with lifting. Uh, so any type of material handling task is something you could look for. Moving materials around, moving objects, storing things, stacking things. Maybe there's a good way that you could help each other to do that the right way and avoid accidents that way. Uh, slips, trips, and falls, one of the largest contributors we see every year. You, most of the time it's the top reason why claims happen is uh, slips, trips, and falls. And so we can do our part to always be looking around the work areas, looking for anything that uh, could be going across a walkway that would need to be picked up or put away, any objects, any spills on the floor that people could slip on, um, anything like that that could, could cause a fall. We want to look around and be vigilant for those, making sure that we're helping our coworkers out and cleaning things up and making the workplace safer to work in. 
Uh, sprains and strains, one of the most costly type of injuries, uh, one of those that's hard to overcome and heal from. Um, we want to help each other make sure we're using good posture, lifting properly, and helping out there. And maybe it's looking to see that your coworkers are wearing their personal protective equipment. If somebody's working and they don't have their safety glasses on where they should, you know, maybe it's a simple reminder, hey, I'm watching out for you. Let's make sure we're wearing our equipment today. We don't want to be injured or have a problem here. As well as procedures. Uh, are we following the right procedures that are provided by the organizations? Are we doing the right things or taking the right steps? Or maybe there's an opportunity to coach one of our employees and show them how, how the right procedure should be done um, to do it safely and do it correctly. But those are things that we can look out for. Those are things that we can help each other with. Those are some of the main things that cause accident and injury. And we always want to watch out for those and have each other's back when it comes to, to those types of injury related procedures. Uh, so we want to develop safety culture. In order to have each other's back, it, it's teamwork. It's, it's all of us working together to make a safe workplace. And so we want to talk now about how do we, we work as a team? How do we have each other's back and create that safe, safe workplace? Uh, looking at this picture, they pulled off a miracle here uh, with uh, these forklifts. Obviously, that is not the right approach to do that, not the safe way to do that. Uh, they certainly were working as a team, though. And uh, although we don't want to do it that way, we do want to encourage working as a team. And we're going to look at some things that you can do to make it safer as a team in your workplace. Uh, one of those the first things that we can do is awareness. Awareness is a big part of it, and we need to make sure that safety is a part of everything that we do. Every task, every thing that we do every day, safety really is the priority when it comes down to it, and we need to make sure that we, we focus on that. And it might be a simple reminder to coworkers to remind them and keep them aware of what's going on around them at all times, making sure that we're doing what we should uh, to keep each other safe there. So safety, if, if it's teamwork, it should be equally important to me as it is to you and, and vice versa. We should all be doing our part to look out for that and help each other and, and keep that a top priority for everybody. So we want to identify any hazards we might work around, any exposures, any possible way that there could be an injury and, and create awareness. And part of that could be through communication, telling somebody else about it, warning them about things that could go on, uh, you know, if there's equipment moving around or things that could fall or or you know cars going near near us it's just some simple communication to say hey heads up this might be going on around us let's watch out let's let's do our part to keep each other safe and so part of that is vigilance being you know taking action doing what we need to do to correct things making it safe and taking action to help each other out uh, but through awareness that's that's a big part of it especially with having each other's back it's just looking out talking together working together to keep safety a part of all that we do Another thing we can do uh, to, to build that safety culture and have each other's back is to be an example. Uh, we can be an example to others. We can help support each other, each other in the things that they're doing. Uh, maybe it's helping them get the right equipment or tools or, or getting them the right procedures, things that they need um, to do that job safely. And so we can make a difference. We can speak up and, and say if there's something that doesn't look right or if something's out of place. Uh, maybe we skipped a step in the procedure. We want to identify that. But being an example and being part of that, uh, that process to improve things is a big part of teamwork and having each other's back. Um, communication. We want to make sure that we're talking together. Employees can, can uh, really help each other out just by communicating what the hazards are. And we don't want some employee to come and do a job and then all of a sudden be surprised uh, by something that they didn't recognize or didn't see when somebody else could have said something and corrected that. Um, so through communication, we can talk together, work together, have each other's back. And, and help to avoid accidents that way. So remember to communicate and, and help each other there. If you do see a problem, if you're out on a job and something just doesn't look quite right or you have a funny feeling about something, uh, you might want to just say something. Say, hey, you know, this is a possible concern. We could possibly get hurt. Let's, let's look at a better way to do this and let's, let's correct it. Um, so for example, here we have a picture of a little holder that holds a, a cell phone on your steering wheel. And it might look like a really good device. It might be nice to put a, put a phone there because you have access to it. But that's probably not the best thing to have while you're driving. Obviously, if that's on the steering wheel and you're looking at your phone at the same time, there's going to be some real distractions and problems. So although it may seem like a good idea, sometimes there's really a better way to do things. There's, there could be something that's, that's a much safer um, piece of equipment or something you know, in a better way to do that. And so we want to look for those things. If you see something standing out that's just not quite right, definitely say something about it, speak up, and help out because you really might help an, an employee or a coworker of yours um, to avoid accident with that. So we need to ask ourselves, is there a better way to do things? 
Uh, here we have some guys going up a ladder, two guys holding the ladder, and obviously that's very unsafe. Got a guy overhead changing a light, people walking by underneath, and right next to a stairway. So there's, you know, definitely high hazard, high risk situation here. If you see something like this in the place you work or as you're going throughout your day, definitely do something about it. Don't just be the guy that's taking the picture and saying, hey, how cool is this? Look at this that we're going to pull off and, you know, just see if you can do it without getting hurt. You know, don't just stand there and do something about it. Get the right tools and equipment. Get the right uh, people in the right place. You know, do what you have to do to make it better and safer. And uh, don't just let it go and, and, and avoid, ignore those types of things. So we want to look out for each other in all that we do. We want to teach each other how um, to work safely and, and give each other a helping hand there. Um, this guy's doing a great job of promoting safety in the workplace. He's, he's got the sign he's putting up that says, think safety first. But his example is showing the opposite of that. He, he's not showing them the right things to do. He is standing on the, on the railings of the stairway and uh, obviously, you know, a high hazard for him. So we want to make sure that when we look out for each other that we're showing each other how, that we're doing it the right way, um, setting the example and encouraging people to work safely around each other. We want to watch for those things as we work each day. Uh, one of the best things we can do is help each other. So working as a team, this is part of it. And kind of like these guys here, sometimes there's some heavy objects that need to be lifted or moved or other tasks that you might want to help somebody with. Um, it's a lot easier to lift something heavy when you got somebody else on the other end of it. And so part of working as a team and having each other's back is just being willing to help each other out. And so if you see somebody struggling to do something and they may need a hand lifting or moving something, don't be afraid to just jump in and, and lend a helping hand. And on the other end of that, don't be afraid to ask. Some people think that, uh, you know, they're afraid to ask somebody. They might inconvenience somebody by asking or they think that they're tough and they can do it and that they won't hurt themselves. But when it comes down to it, really, I don't think there's many people out there that wouldn't be willing to help. And, and I think part of it is we just need to be able to ask and don't be afraid to ask that question for some help. Uh, might really make it easier on everybody working as a team, helping out, and um, the job might get done faster and maybe even in a better way if two people are helping together. So don't be afraid to work together on those types of things and, and look out for each other that way. Um, takes me to the golden rule. You, you've all heard that phrase of the golden rule. And when it comes to safety, that can tie right into it as well. How do you want your organization to treat you as far as safety goes? Do you, do you want them to have your back? How about your coworkers? Do you expect them to always be looking out for you and making sure that you're working safe and, and doing the right things in the workplace to, to protect you and keep you safe? Uh, those are things we need to ask. But on the other hand, are you doing that as well? Are you contributing to the safety in your workplace? Are you um, treating others like you would want them to treat you for safety? Are you, do you have their back? Do you have your organization's back for following procedure and doing the right things? That's part of it and that's, that's really teamwork. We want to work together and do the best we can to always be helping each other through that. Uh, there are some risks. Uh, sometimes with working alone, there can be a huge risk. You can imagine if somebody was out on their own, maybe out in a field or, you know, in some, some process they're working on, doing some tasks, um, they could have a medical issue and be by themselves and need some help or, or some health challenges. And if nobody's around, there's, there's not going to be any help there. Um, also, they could have an accident. They could get into an accident and get into, into a tough spot where they need some help and, and might need somebody there. And so our recommendation is if you can have uh, somebody with you, you know, having that buddy system, that's, that's one of the best things you can do is always have somebody there to, to watch your back and work with you through things. Uh, some people do work on their own and, and they have to for certain reasons, for certain jobs. And if that's the case, there are ways to work around that where somebody can check in on you. Um, even if it's giving a phone call, you know, every hour or checking and having some, some process to check in on each other or communicate with each other, um, that's one thing that you can do. There's also GPS trackers and other technologies out there to help with that for people that work alone. Um, but we do recommend that to have each other's back, make sure everybody's okay throughout the day. Um, that's part of keeping each other safe and, and looking out for each other. When it comes to vehicle accidents, about 50% of, of claims that we see from auto accidents are simply backing up the vehicle. And so here's another example of how we can help each other out and have each other's back is uh, using a spotter. So if you're in a vehicle and, and somebody's backing up and they're kind of in a tight spot, be willing to go out and, and be a spotter for them and guide that vehicle back. It might really prevent an accident. And we've looked at this on, on accidents over the years. Um, sometimes just a simple spotter would have avoided um, backing into poles or hitting other cars or simple things like that. 
Um, but that's a great way that you can work as a team to keep your vehicle safe, to keep, keep it accident free um, and work together. Uh, realize though that the driver is still responsible for that vehicle. And just because somebody's guiding them back, they still need to make sure that you're working together, that it's safe to back up, and you want to make sure that you agree on the hand signals, that you know what each other's communicating with each other. But together, having a spotter might really avoid some accidents and troubles in, in your cars and in the workplace. So those are other examples. Um, here's another. Uh, always protect yourself first. And this is kind of the scene safety rule number one. If you feel like something's not going quite right, if you're doing a job and something's out of place, you have to protect yourself first. You've got you to keep yourself safe in all that you do. And that's part of teamwork as well because if you are not doing your part to keep yourself safe, you put your others at risk and you could put your others in a, other coworkers in a bad situation. So always take care of yourself. Make sure you're doing the right things. Make sure you're wearing the right equipment. And then you can uh, also in turn help somebody else to keep them safe and look out for each other. Uh, but each of us has to do our part when it comes to working safely together. So OSHA has some requirements on this uh, that employees are actually supposed to follow the rules and uh, procedures in the workplace. So the regulations say that each employee shall comply with the standards, rules, regulations, and orders issued by his or her agency. Uh, employees shall use safety equipment, personal protective equipment, and other devices and procedures provided or directed by the agency and necessary for their protection. So we have to use the equipment provided. We need to follow procedure, and that's part of us, you know, doing our part, doing our part to to work safely, safely in the workplace, and and again to look out for each other. We need to set the example and do the right things to help each other through those things. Uh, that's important, though. Um, so what do we look for? What, what's in our work zone? What kind of things do we want to watch for? Well, any kind of hazard, you know, if we're working around things where there's things that you could trip on, things that you could fall in. Uh, maybe equipment that could topple over and hurt you or something that could cause a laceration of some kind. We always want to be looking out, looking at hazards as we're working around with each other to help each other out. We want to look at what the causes of injury are. Maybe there's been injuries in the past or near misses that have happened, uh, things that have stood out to us in the past that we learned from. We always want to you know, keep our awareness up and look out for those types of things as we're working with other people and, and ask ourselves, are we lucky? Are we getting lucky? Are we having these close calls and near misses and, and we're just lucky that we're not getting the accident? Or are we doing the right things? Are we really doing the, the right steps and procedures and using the right tools for the job? We have to ask ourselves, what's next? What's that next thing that could cause that accident? What is it out there that could get me? Um, working together and being a team, helping to improve things really makes that difference in the workplace and uh, it can overcome those near misses and accidents we might have had otherwise. So we have to realize that we're in this together, uh, whether it's your department or people you work around, we all can work together to have each other's back, uh, to improve things, to make the job better, and even make it easier. If we have a nice, clean workplace with things going the way they should, with procedure in place and doing the right things, it can really make it easier and more efficient, especially when we work together and give each other a helping hand. Uh, we might even get more work done, it might be more productive and, and might enjoy it more. And so we need to realize that each of us can do our part to, to improve that safety culture in all that we do. When it comes to participation, it's, it's really an expectation of the job that everybody participates in safety. Uh, your job description may not specifically say that, although it would be a good thing in there. Uh, it may not say that you have to, to do everything you know, as far as safety and participate in that, but it really is the expectation and it's really part of any job that we do. Uh, looking out for each other, being active in doing the things to keep each other safe, communicating and creating that awareness like we talked about, that's all part of uh, participating in safety and helping each other out. So when it really comes down to it, we have to make safety a priority. We have to really focus on what the priority is. You know, we get up and we come to work every day and we're here to make a living, but uh, at the end of the day, we really do want to go home and, and live out our life and do what we want to do. And so safety really is the priority and we need to keep it that way. Um, working as a team and having each other's back, looking out for things can help to overcome those, those challenges we face. It can help us to uh, keep the job safe and avoid accident and injury, but we have to do that. We have to look out for each other. Um, it really does take everybody. You know, if one person's doing it, it's just not going to be as effective and, and, and it won't be as safe. But we can work together. We can support others and make it better if we try. And that's really the goal. Uh, for safety and having having each other's six, having each other's back, it really can make a difference if we, we work together on that. So with that, do we have any questions, Jason?
any questions out there? I have. Um, <laughs> I, I I do have one question. Okay. Uh, let's see. I just gotta let's see. If I was nine years old the day before yesterday, and the next year I turned twelve, what day would it be when? And when is my birthday? Oh, that's Good one question. that everybody to think about. <laughs> that's the only question I've got in. It just barely came in. Um, <laughs> Sounds like a riddle that I'm not sure I think so. yet. I think Ryan will probably tell an answer to that one. Normally, it's the early session that we get it, that we get the riddles or the or the jokes. Um, for the rest, for everybody on on this, I would just ask a question of of all of us. What is it, what is it that we can do today? Uh, from from the information that Brent has shared with us today, to help us watch each other's back, what is the what's the thing that we can do um, today? I always like to think about training. You know, I you know this is this is my gig. I do a lot of training and I enjoy it. <clears throat> but I realize that training is only is uh, is only worthwhile if you do something different from what you've done in the past. And uh, and so today, what are you going to do different because of because of what's Brent, what Brent's presentation uh, has been today? How are you going to look out for for others out there? I'm just looking for uh, for for any questions there. You can type those in the chat box, the Q and A box, and I don't see an answer from Ryan yet. So. Ah, all right. He says, don't tell. He gave him the answer, but he says, don't tell him. Make everybody think. So I'll read it again. If I was nine years old the day before yesterday, and the next year I turned 12, what day would it be, and when is my birthday? Ah, that's a good one. It makes sense, too, the answer. All right, I don't see other, any other questions. Brent, any, uh, <clears throat> any uh, final words? That's it. Let's just make sure we, we take action. Like Jason was saying, you know, we can have the awareness today and hopefully that's what this webinar did, but it really comes down to each of us doing our part. And so hopefully we can find that uh, as we go throughout this, this day and throughout the year, keep each other safe and have each other's back. It's really the goal. So thanks everybody. Have a great day. Awesome. Great job, Brent. Appreciate that, uh, that information. We will, um, we will uh, be back here right away at 10 o'clock. I'm doing a presentation on special events and recreations uh, risk and how to how to avoid that risk, how to minimize um, the, the risk that we get sued, that we get somebody hurt. And uh, if you haven't signed up for that one, go ahead and send me an email to Jason at Utah Trust. Um, dot gov, and I will uh, and I will send you out a hot link so you can get into that one. If you just try to sign up now, you won't have your login credentials back in time. So, thank you very much, everybody, for attending. Be safe out there, and uh, for a lot of you, we'll see you see you back here in in about a half hour. Have a good day. <laughs>